Hello, uh, my name is Tracy Perkins, and I'm recording a few thoughts on a progress on the research project in progress with my co-authors Sophia Hussein, London Davis, and Miriam Trent. Uh, we are writing about a class project that we did in 2018, um, in which my co-authors were students at Howard University. The class was Sociology of Food and Agriculture. And we contributed to Wikipedia content on food and agriculture through the class supported by Wiki Education. So skipping straight to some findings, we found persistent racialized and gendered knowledge gaps and misrepresentations across food and agriculture pages. And we think that these are due to both the replication of similar kinds of gaps and distortions in academic scholarship, and I should say, as well as in press um, coverage, and also through the largely white male pool of editors that uh, makes up Wikipedia in the English language edition and the way that they, um, as a group, if not you know, at an, every individual level, uh, distort knowledge in keeping with their um, interests areas and worldviews um, through gatekeeping practices. Um, let's keep going. So briefly, for example, um, one of my students wrote about the Colombian exchange, uh, which before she described it was, as it says here, named for Christopher Columbus. It was the widespread transfer of plants, animals, culture, human populations, technology, and ideas between the Americas and the old world in the 15th and 16th century, um, old world meaning Europe. Uh, my student added content on Africa's role in the Colombian exchange, uh, which was a huge uh, absence in the page and in much um, scholarly writing on the Colombian exchange. Uh, and so she added content about African plants that came to other parts of the world following the Colombian exchange, as well as the huge transfer of people through the transatlantic slave trade. Um, and also the transfer of ideas that came with some of those enslaved Africans, including their contributions to rice plantation agriculture in the American South. We also saw different kinds of gatekeeping practices. Um, this student uh, wrote about her intent to add the United Farm Workers of America to the, I believe it was the um, labor history in the United States page and got a lot of um, resistance from one of the editors um, who didn't think that they were a very significant uh, union um, and also uh, really sort of tried to deter her from making significant changes to the page through the um, highlighted text here. Lots of editors have worked on this and someone who is brand new to Wikipedia needs to watch and learn how editing is done here. In terms of the implications um, of our experience, uh, we found that the assignment itself of having students learn about how Wikipedia works and learn about knowledge politics through it was very valuable. Um, and we also uh, found that the readings that I had chosen, which paired a, a positivist reading um, with a black feminist one that gave, um, you know, sort of distinct uh, approaches to how knowledge works and how knowledge claims can be supported, that, that the tension between those two approaches was productive for our discussion um, in class and for our thinking about um, knowledge. In terms of implications for Wikipedia and, and wiki education more broadly, uh, we understand that the student population that wiki education draws in um, are more diverse than the broad existing editor pool of Wikipedia, um, and that they often make equity oriented um, interventions into Wikipedia, which is great. Um, the only caution here is just again to um, remind everyone that students of color, you know, may or may not choose to make equity oriented interventions into Wikipedia um, for a number of reasons related to life experience, 
formal education and informal education, the topic of the class, the setup of the class, et cetera. Um, and relatedly and broadly for Wikipedia, uh, although we see that there is some effort to diversify the editor pool, uh, we don't think that that alone is going to solve its content problems. And it, it seems very likely that if the editor pool does significantly diversify, that this will lead to increased resistance among at least some of the existing white editors um, and male editors. And broadly for knowledge politics, uh, this experience underscored that you know, tech tools replicate the problems of society. Um, they don't sort of enable us to outrun society. And so therefore solving the racial and gendered uh, content gaps and misrepresentations on Wikipedia is, is a fundamentally political project and um, should be understood as such. And we will stop there with some references and some acknowledgements. Thanks so much. I'm looking forward to chatting in Q&A.